Welcome to another stage analysis video. It's Wednesday, the 26th of October 2022, and this is going to be the, the midweek video on we're going to do a group focus on the software group as a as a special feature in this in this video. And then followed by later in the video, a little bit more on the what's been going on in the, the major indexes, some of the short term market breadth that I always cover in the in the midweek video. And then finishing off with a, a little look at some of the the earnings results in the in the after hours and from the, the last few days, just to see what what's been happening, the major movers that are, that are moving and um, at the moment. Right. So to begin with tonight, as I said, I wanted to wanted to cover the the software group as a, a group focus once more. Um, I've done this a few times through the year since it started to develop potential signs from four B minus into stage one, and then we're now much later on in a, a potential stage one base. Although it could also be rolling over and making a, a stage four continuation. It did a few weeks back or so now, about a month or so ago, it started to drop back below the bottom of the range, started to make a continuation breakdown in stage four, but it's since reversed back up into the range again, a little bit of spring type action, terminal shakeout type behavior started to come back up towards the this declining 10-week moving average here, which is uh, the equivalent of the 50-day moving average. So you can see at the moment with today's price action in the markets with the S&P 500 reversing at its 50-day moving average, software stocks also following suit and rolling over on the, on the daily chart there. So the weekly bar now squatting down a bit. So potentially we could still make a, a continuation breakdown lower back into stage four again. So this is not definitively stage one as yet. If we go back through the stages here, you can see the, the whole chart since the, the COVID lows back here. We had the, the shakeout back in COVID, back in the COVID lows in March 2020 for moving up. It's very difficult in the April, May time to identify the, the stage one into stage two areas for a lot of charts as we had these v type bottoms so one way you can do it i created for those of you that have got trading view if we flick through to trading view here and you add the the stage analysis technical attributes indicator then which it basically this you can either have it as colored bands in the background you can have it as the oscillator here or you can have it as the the blocks the vi very visual blocks at the bottom of the chart so it starts off with the very visual blocks but you can go into the you can go into the settings and then change those in the style by by turning off all of those ticking on the background colors or if you want to use the oscillator you can tick on the levels and basically keep that that SATA score on so there's lots of different ways you can use it and you can just have it as the score up here with nothing showing at all but it does give you a very very visual way of seeing potentially the stages the score goes from zero to ten so just because it's changed from in into red doesn't mean it's in stage four and just because it's changed into green doesn't mean it's in stage two but it's more likely to be in stage two when it's green and it's more likely to be in stage four when it's red so there's obviously that disparity between when it's in stage one or stage three so it goes blue when the score is between four and six and it's green when it's seven or above and it's um, red when it's three or below so basically at the moment you can see this is the biggest decline we've had in the software group for a very very long time the covid shakeout was very brief the 2018 bear market move lower was very brief there only a few months or so you can see basically since the start of the year the technical attributes of this has been negative has been on a score of three or below you can see it dropped down to a score of start a score of one out of ten on the 29th of november week there so that isn't the stage four breakdown as you can see here if we draw our top across here you can see that the head and shoulders little top in this this is your your stage four breakdown area here so it actually happened what well, we got there six weeks after it turned red so like i said the red, red doesn't necessarily mean it's in stage four and that was the that was the breakdown week there you can see that as well if you go back onto the chart which i've highlighted on the on the stock charts chart here because you need that 30 week moving average rolling down as well and obviously breaking some some key support levels so as i said those of you that need need help look at identifying the stages then the the stage analysis technical attributes scoring system which we call sata is a is a very useful way to look at it and you can see as we potentially start to develop the stage one base over here you get that that change of behavior the score starts to improve starts to move up to you can see there moved to a sata score of four then gradually improved 
to a maximum of a six on this week before it rolled over at that 30 week moving average a little bit of up thrust behavior and has pulled back down again so we've had an up thrust and now a now a shake out at the bottom of the range so this is potentially stage one as i said it could could still quite easily continue to roll over if the market weakness returns we could make a make a continuation breakdown and just continue on in stage four and then that would make just make this a, a redistribution base so we always say potentially until we actually get further confirmation and even then sometimes stage one can can still roll over and become stage four once more you can have stage four into stage one and then you can make a continuation breakdown lower much as you can have stage two move into stage three and then make a stage two continuation higher it's it doesn't have to go through the cycle just in a sta- all the stages and then then start again and go through all the stages it basically it can do you can go in stage one into stage two potentially into stage three and then you can make a continuation it might then shake out and roll over and fall back down again there's there's lots of different ways that it can work out so you're always looking at the, the price and volume clues and basically what's going on in the individual stocks within the actual indexes and etfs especially so when you're looking at a group chart like this you can see that this is potentially in stage one so what you would actually what you now want to do you've identified that on a on a single chart the group is potentially in stage one in order for the group to potentially be in stage one there's going to have to be some stocks in the group leading that they're going to have to be in stage potentially in stage two and there's going to be some that are weaker still in stage four as the the group is obviously an average of the stocks within it so the fact that it's near the low of the group not sure on how these groups are weighted so it might be i think they're actually they might potentially be cap weighted so the larger cap stocks in the group potentially are going to be have more weight in within this so at the moment we know in the software area there's definitely some of the, the large cap ones have not done so well microsoft comes to mind last night on earnings which obviously was down over six percent in the after hours last last night so definitely going to be weighing on this group a little bit there so we'll look at the daily on this at the moment you can see that stage one potential stage one base a little bit closer up so as i said starting off in may started to see this this change of behavior move out in here we started to break up and out a little bit of a change of behavior through here started to break up and out towards that 200 day moving average but then rolled over up for us type action and came back into the range again started to break back down again so and now it's moved down made lower lows and started to get a little bit of spring type action again has come back into the range so at the moment we've got this turn all that off we've got this this zone of resistance at the moment through this 270 kind of area here on the igv so but you can see above the 21 day moving average still at the moment still hovering around the bottom of the range but rejected at that 50 day moving average much like the the s p 500 was today so still ways to go in order for the group to move up towards its 200 day moving average still 14 percent there and in order for the group to break out still it needs to move over 20 percent to get back towards stage two type territory at the moment look at the intraday chart on the other hand so this is the 195 minute chart which has two bars a day so this can this is a very useful chart and this time frame you can also use a lower time frame than this with three bars a day which is the let me look at that 130 minute or the the five bars a day on the 78 minute which are which are very useful i also use the two hour chart because i like the way stock charts does it with the the first 30 minute bar is 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 still just 30 minutes and then the rest of the day is the two hour bar so because the first 30 minutes has a lot more volume and a lot more volatility normally it does give a even though it's a bit of an odd way of looking at the chart it does actually provide some really useful information there's a lot happens in that first 30 minutes so on this chart here as i highlighted there around that 270 level at the moment we've got a, a key level of resistance which was support and resistance we had see a little stage two run up through here which was that breakout area there so started to move up into stage two rolled over started to form some stage three type behavior breaking down into stage four type area down here and has been 
continuing down in stage four but we're now we're starting to see see signs of a, a developing stage one structure here with a with a shakeout move at the bottom of the range here so potentially if this can start to break up and out through here and we get some strong relative volume then that would start moving this up and out into stage two on an intraday time frame and as you can see there at the through that 270 level if we go back to the daily chart there that would take it back up through this area in here of the 270 level so and from there you'd then be looking for a, a move up towards the next peaks up here around 293 294 kind of area and the 200 day moving average so potential if it does make an intraday stage two breakout for a 10 percent swing trade on that kind of move up towards that 200 day moving average before it meets a obviously a level potential level of resistance there or level of interest whichever way you want to what want to look at it right let's get into the actual individual group itself as we're 10 minutes in here i don't want to i don't want to drag the midweek video out too much as i know obviously everybody's time is valuable so i've highlighted the group um gone through the group and um numbered these using the the SCTR scores so at the moment it's not ordered by that so at the moment I've ordered it by the earnings so as I wanted to highlight that so we get past these these first ones there's been a, a bunch of stocks over the last few days reporting AZPN is having a as having a good reaction in the after hours here so we have a quick look at that one on the after hours chart here so stick the extended hours on you can see that's had a had a decent bump up in the after hours move there so up around five percent not huge but this remains the the leading stock in the group at the moment so that's reported today and reacting reasonably well compared to a lot of very negative news uh, results the last few days with google microsoft obviously meta today so getting hit and a, a bunch of others taking it on the nose as well i think what was the one today wolf really really savage moving in that one obviously breaking down from from stage two back back into the range again but massive move in the after hours over 20 percent i think over even over 25 percent so no one's really taking it but not in the software group so we won't get into that one until until later in the video um what I wanted to highlight here is that there's there's multiple um, stocks in the group reporting. So scroll down here over the next week, so you can see all the way down here up to can still going eleventh for the third, eleventh for the fourth before the market opens. So all the way down to here, which was I counted earlier was ninety nine stocks. There's only um about 300 and something stocks within the group overall so and this i've only got two i'm only showing 200 and about 250 in the actual in the group focus um area here so 99 of those it's more than obviously more than a third of the stocks are reporting in the next week not many have reported yet so i thought it was a an important time to obviously look at the group with the actual obviously the group potentially in forming a stage one base and lots of stocks from the group in stage one still there's not too many in stage two like i said azpn has been one of the strongest performers it's been in been in stage two for a while now made a made a stage two breakout harder one to tell not there actually because it still wasn't rising so potentially started to move into stage two behavior so this was the breakout here but then into resistance and the pullback so it could have with the 30 weeks starting to rise at this point in here it have potentially started to consider it stage two around this area but there was a, a sharp pullback but didn't break below prior low so it would have held on there so but then started to show stage three characteristics and breaking breaking down back below the 30 week moving average and going sideways for a while so wasn't back into stage two until this area really and it's had a strong stage two since so really going against what the market's been doing you can see the relative strength here at the bottom of the table obviously being exceptionally strong moving up on lower volume while the market has been obviously going down so it's been a really strong stage two move there up what 50 percent in the in the last five or six months or so so continues to be one of the one of the leading stocks here and you know, as you can see still holding above its 21 day moving average at the moment and the moving averages are in the right order with the 21 day the 50 day and the 200 day so really really strong at the moment so and then making a potential continuation stage two continuation in the after